Coming to you today from an LVL framed house where instead of using traditional two by lumber, we've swapped all that out with LVL studs. Now when we think about LVLs, like you just saw a minute ago, this is what we're normally thinking of. Door headers like this, window headers, or maybe those beams like you see in the background. But in this case, all the studs in this entire house are actually LVLs. Now we did this for a very specific purpose. Uh, the main purpose being strength. If you look at this outside wall here, we've got LVL studs, I've got half inch Advantech sheathing. The sheathing's actually been glued to the studs and I've got some serious hold downs, like look above that window there. It's all been unstrapped together to hold down. I've got hurricane straps on all my rafters and at each one of those rafters, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but there's a telltale hole right there. I've got a Simpson screw going all the way up through that double top plate and into the rafter to hold everything together. So my homeowner, when we designed this house, wanted to design a house that would withstand 110 mile an hour wind and be able to survive that. So, you know, some serious events happen in the world. And with that kind of wind, you need some serious strength. This is one way to achieve that. But there's of course some other pros to framing with LVLs as well. They're super strong and they're super straight. Take a look at this one right here. This is a 16 foot, uh, basically two by six LVL. Now you can get these an inch and a half, but we frame with inch and three quarter wide ones. And look at this, if you sight down this, the classic framer trick to see how straight that is. This thing that's 16 foot long, super straight. Downside though, feel that, oh man, super heavy. We put some serious uh, muscle on this crew to be able to muscle these things around. The other con on these, besides being expensive, of course, is that they don't come pre-cut. You know, if you're using LSLs or traditional two by lumber, you can get all pre-cut dimensions so that you don't need to cut every stud. But in this case, everything came off the truck and everything had to be hauled up to a bench so we could cut everything to the length. So we spent a fair amount of time and money, not only muscling these around, but physically having to cut every single stud into the correct location. I think when we're all done though, we're gonna achieve that goal that we were looking for, that super strong house that can withstand some serious weather on the outside. I think we're also gonna achieve a really nice finish on the inside because we've got these super straight walls. And then look up here, this is kind of another interesting uh, thing to look at. All of our rafters are LVLs as well. You can see that ridge beam is LVL. We've got this post coming down right here and, and these LVLs are used a little more traditionally where we've got a beam to carry that load down to the ground. But the house, it's got this really solid feeling to it. It's pretty serious inside here. Everything's been glued together with that Advantech glue, both on our sheathing and on our outside walls. Everything's been nailed together with ring shank nails. It's pretty serious. A Couple other downsides that I do wanna mention though, as I said before, expensive. Also hard to nail, these things are pretty uh, solid, so you're gonna have to really pump up the pressure to get your nails into here. And oftentimes you're gonna have to pull out the hammer to finish it off. And the last thing that I wanna mention is, because this house is nothing but engineered materials, I've got engineered sheathing, engineered studs, there's very little ability for water to leak in this house and soak up, which means that we need to take a lot of precautions on the outside of this house to make sure that this house is staying dry. Now I've got a good design here. I've got overhangs over most of the house. There's really no sections except for maybe one small section out front that doesn't have an overhang. So I've got a good umbrella over the house. But my raincoat is really important when we're using all man-made studs like this. So we've got a Delta Vent SA from the folks at Dorkin on the outside. Very watertight, super airtight. We've also got an air gap behind our cladding on the outside. Stay tuned for a future video on that. But this is a pretty interesting process and if you're building in a hurricane prone area or you just want that house that's going to be able to withstand that extreme weather, this is one way to do it. Thanks for joining me guys. Look forward to future videos from this house. We're going to be checking out the HVAC system that I've got above me here and talking about how we ducted that. We're also going to talk about this really cool ceiling framing kit to get this barrel vault we've got in the kitchen on a future episode. And remember that Jordan Smith is no longer on my channel. He's got his own channel now, Jordan Smith Builds. Look for the link in the uh, description below and also check out both our Instagram feeds. We'll see you next time.